not that long ago, the public requested that we have more in a la carte version of television channel, and we started breaking the cable TV foothold on television. The result was streaming services, starting with a few like Netflix and Amazon Prime, and now there seems to be a new one coming up every other week, from Disney Plus to DC Universe to Warner Brothers HBO Max to whatever NBC Universal is doing. Here at the Fanatarium, we will be breaking down these streaming services, some free, some paid, some in between. Have you never heard of some of them? When we're done with all these episodes, you'll be able to decide which ones you like, which ones you don't, and if there's a hidden gem out there that you can try. Hopefully, saving you some money, or at least using it more wisely. Welcome to the Fanatarium. There is some content that Americans just can't get on their television. No matter how hard we try, it doesn't always come here. Acorn TV is an American subscription service offering television programming from the United Kingdom, as well as Ireland, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and Spain. It is available on a variety of devices, including Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. So what is Acorn TV? It is owned by RLJ Entertainment Inc. Acorn Media Group has distributed British television in the United States since 1994, originally selling VHS tapes before moving into DVD and Blu-ray. Continuing the company's expansion into new formats, Acorn TV launched as a subscription service of Acorn's direct-to-consumer e-commerce website in 2011. In 2013, Acorn TV was relaunched as a standalone service with expanded content offerings and monthly and annual subscriptions. In 2013, the service began to offer exclusive content starting in the United States premiere of Doc Martin's Series 6. In 2015, Acorn TV was the only niche streaming service to have a program nominated for an, an Emmy when Curtin, for Rose Last Case, was nominated for Best Television Movie. As of December 31st, 2016, it had 430,000 paid subscribers. So, Acorn TV offers a combination of new and classic mysteries, dramas, comedies, and documentaries. Its service licenses content from producers and distributors, including ITV, Channel 4, BBC Worldwide, All3 Media, DRG, ZDF, and Content Media Core. Because its parent company, RLJ Entertainment, has a 64% stake of Agatha Christie Limited, the licensing, ar licensing arm of the Christie estate, Acorn TV was able to offer the United States premiere of the final episodes of the Agatha Christie's Perot in summer of 2014. PBC's co-production of Partners in Crime in September 2015, and a witness of the prosecution in 2017. They also own all the rights to Foils War, allowing Acorn TV to offer the United States premiere of the final season in 2015. Subsequent original series include Agatha Raisin, Close to the Enemy, The Level, Striking Out, and Queens of Mystery. Since its launch, Acorn TV has offered the United States premieres of some of, or all, of British series including Detectorists, Vera, Inspector George Gently, and Midsummer and Murders. After initially focusing exclusively on programming from the United Kingdom, Acorn TV has expanded its content to include programs from other territories, including Australia's A Place Call Home, Miss, F uh, Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries, Jack Irish and Janet King, New Zealand's The Brokenwood Mysteries, the Australian New Zealand series 800 Words, Canada's Murdoch Mysteries and 9-2, and Ireland's Clean Break and Striking Out. In 2015, the service began offering foreign language dramas. The service also offers a selection of documentaries, including historical, travel, arts, and science titles. In uh, 2019, the Australian mystery series My Life is Murder premiered on Acorn. So Acorn TV has a lot of BBC stuff. Now, if you want to get this for Doctor Who and things like that, as far as I've been able to tell, that is not on here. This is more like the dramas, the Perot cases, Agatha Christie, the mysteries. Um, that is what's on here. But there is a lot of it. There is a lot of content. And there is a free trial, which uh, you can do for a free week. And then after that, it's $5.99 a month. Or you can do $59.99 a year. You can also gift people Acorn TV, um, which is something kind of awesome. You can send it to them. And so if you know someone who likes British mysteries, dramas, and comedies, and it's always commercial free, that's a big plus on this one. It is available on Acorn TV, $60 a year or $5.99 a month. Um, a lot of dramas on If you know someone who absolutely loves this stuff, uh, it's a good place for it. And it's a pretty decent price. And this is all stuff that's really hard to find anyway. Um, even PBS here or BBC America doesn't get a lot of this. So uh, it's worth checking out if that interests you. And uh, it's available at a pretty good price. What do you think? Mm -hmm.